In this example, we will talk about how we check that this expression is a solution to this differential equation. This example is a past paper question. So um, the question is a student who work in a hospital and then he measure the blood glucose level of a patient with di diabetes from time to time. So later on he got the data. So like you can imagine that he would have like different data points. But with different data points, you can't do anything. So with uh, mathematical modeling, then the students try to model it by this differential equation. With a differential equation, we always want to look for the solutions. So right now, we provide the solutions to you. We said that the solution is this one. All right. And then what we want you to do is we want you to check whether this is actually the solutions to uh, this differential equation. So usually what we do, we start with the left hand side of the differential equation. So the left hand side of the differential equation is dg dt. All right. Then we look for the g. So the g is here, and then we try to differentiate it. All right. And we start with the first term 90. When you differentiate a constant, then you will get a zero. And then you keep the negative 240. And then you need to use the chain rule. So remember, if you have not yet started your calculus, so go back to your calculus app or anything online, learn how to do chain rule. All right. So we differentiate that thing. So which is negative 0.5 e to the power of negative 0.5. T, all right? And then later on, here you got negative, negative. That means you got a plus. All right. And then what we try to do is we try to um, expand the exp expression. We got, um, what is it, 12? And then negative 240 multiplied by 0 0.02, you will get a negative 4.8 e to the power of negative 0. Two. All right. So this one is actually the same as um, given in the original question. So, which is the same as the right hand side, but this is uh, we haven't finished this. We still need to check the initial condition g zero. All right. All right. So we substitute zero um, to the t in this expression. So we would have as like e to the power of zero point zero five times zero. That is zero, and then e to the power of zero, you get a one. All right, so one minus, which is the same, so you got a one here, so one minus one is zero. Multiplied by this uh, negative 240, you get a zero. So at the end, you will get 90. All right, so remember that don't simply copy um, 90 in the exam. You need to show your work and that you, sub you actually substitute a t to be zero in this expression. All right, so this is how we check um, that an expression is actually the solutions to a differential equation.